this kitties has decided to just hang out in the jungle now as well wants to find some of these little sprites hanging around the map there's the cut through to come through it's safe actually going to get ignited here at the same time level four PYL looks for it, gets the grab, and there's the rake for First Blood. Beautifully played and saved, getting preyed upon here in the mid lane. Hanging out invisible in the top lane, making sure he's getting all of the experience. Once again, circumventing the weak early jungle is TBQ dives. Yeah, he's going for some sort of dive. These lay waste coming through the Zatai, looking for it. The last auto attack does have the shield. Is he going to be able to land it? There it is! Zatai answers the kill and picks himself up a blue buff and, and the crowd goes wild. I'm not going to spot him out. His kiddies is making his way down oh, here as well. Oh, they've caught out TBQ. Kakao's coming in. Who's caught who as Akon comes around the backside here as well? Kid trying to get some damage down here onto the Javan who's going down low. Kid still alive to heal. The Ignite's ticking down. Akon does pick that one up, but Kakao's here as well. The Ignite's ticking onto Akon as PYL. He's deceptively tanky here as Kitties does manage to land the Cosmic Binding, but in comes Godvi and the double kill for Akon. The horse who is just always there, hanging out in the brush, picks himself up a double. Played the Rune King. That's silly. Yeah, Wall of Pain oh, going to come through. Oh, being caught out as well. Maybe the Flash Fort. No, he doesn't have Flash Fort. It's not going to be the Flash Fort. Satai is pretty dang good at this card. This is the heals being forced out. More Skittles coming in. There's the Flash to come down. Zatai picks up Imp with the last Skittle. And then walks into the creep. Yeah, wave. looking to, to die, die at the right spot. IG getting in amongst it here on the bottom side of the map. Kitties is able to get a ward over there, and they spot Acorn out trying to... Oh, magical journey in from Kitties. Doesn't land the Cosmic Binding, but save. He's going to get in with the chain. Tries to run away. There's a Requiem coming through as well. Kid with the culling secures it for Zatai. Going to be cheating to the other side of that turret this time. As there's the ult trade oh, to come Lance, through. Save everything. Lance. He's the best mid laner. <laughs> Rookie does need to be careful that his job isn't going to be taken away from his Korean compatriot from... Uh, of course, Nardin Shield. Actually, Godby gonna get taken down low. He's gonna die. Save gets the solo kill in the mid lane. Yeah. But Zatai just hanging out over the side. Save may have found TBQ here, but he's gonna go back to his original. There's the Flash Cataclysm as well. There's the Onslaught of Shadows. Kakao comes through with a beautiful Agony's Embrace. TBQ, he's gonna fall down. Save still alive here at the same time. Does have the distortion. Gets back into his first one, but that's gonna mean he gets rampaged to death. But oh, my, well, maybe you were. 80 CS to 69 there in the mid lane though is, oh my goodness, Kid's gonna get grabbed on his way back in here. And Imp with a massive flip into the bottom lane. There's the Tempered Fate, Kid still going to die. Almost donates that kill over to Godby there in the mid lane with too much just yet. LGD now with a bit of an advantage. Save's gonna get grabbed up there as well. The explosive shot might be out of secure, but Save picks up Imp and doesn't get the kill. Kakao coming through, Evelyn. Doing the work with the hate spikes, forces the flash out here, but now he's getting teleported on. The flag and drag comes through. Skirmish's saber from Acorn means that Kakao just gonna die. And oh, this is oh, impressive. Let's take, oh, let's check oh. out the replay. This is bottom lane. I thought it was gonna be Kakao, so God be with the ultimate comes through. That's a very nice play coming through. We'll do that. Oh, Ooh. Kakao's been. Oh, look out. at the juke. That was wonderful. We'll see whether he does have the W available. He's gonna pop that one as the hate spikes continue to come through. Does have that warrior enchant with, of course, that skirmisher saber available, but PYL pretty quick. Does get another knock up, but that's going to mean the hate spike. Just cool guys don't look at explosions, and Cow picks up the kill this. easily. Shadow Assault doing some work. Again. Is it Shadow Assault? Because that would be really, really frustrating to have Shadow Assault and Onslaught of Shadows in the same team. But. God be taking some Skittles here. Zatai demonstrating that he can hit quite a few. That was a weird one. Come on, man. I'm trying to... Okay. Imp's here now as well as... And another person jumps over a wall with a bomb on their head. No, oh, it's the, sort of the Zillion effect, isn't it? As, there's the Requiem to come through. We'll see whether Godby's going to take enough damage from that one, but not going to be enough. We're going to have a collapse in the top lane. Yeah, Kakao manages to get around here. Magical journey in to try and kill this Jarvan and... By try, I mean definitely destroy the jungler there. As in the end, Zatai going to fall down on this bottom side. He needs to be careful. Yeah, he thinks it's only just kidding, but there's the Agony's Embrace. And my goodness, that was a big hug there. As, oh, Tempered Fate comes through, but PYL just going to be hanging out here for a little bit after picking up the kill there onto Kitties. And Kakao now trying to get these hate spikes through. And look at this Warrior Enchant smacking down on that Blitzcrank, and Kakao really does know exactly the only member on the map he can kill. Yeah. Not quite able to lock down that kill, didn't have the Ignite there, it's Kid going to relentlessly pursue out 
of the Cataclysm as TBQ now trying to get some work done. There's the Requiem to come down and Flag and Drag comes through. The heal's there though. And Kid gonna be able to help secure that kill with Zatai. That's Jank Brush set up Atlas. Yeah, actually, Akon. Oh, there's the Cosmic Binding. Does stun him up there as well as the Magical Journey gonna be taken by every member of IG just for the <laughs> fun of it. As PYL, he's gonna be the one to get destroyed. No Evelyn here, but still gonna be largely the focus. And Akon's just wondering what the heck is going on this game. Yeah, and wow, the flash in from him. Yeah, flash away now as well in response there from Kid who gets over the wall. Save trying to do some work, but Chain's not gonna land after the Buster Shot. And Kitty's another Magical Journey gonna be taken here. Save gonna destroy it out of the way as well. A Cosmic Bind as well. And that is going to secure the safety of these IG members. And Kakao, being the best champion in the game, solos out the mid laner. That was a solo kill coming through from the Evelyn. Being Evelyn is a pretty good option on that front, so I don't deny that one as being a good option, as Imp is just going to get eradicated. And bringing this game back, Atlas, LGD need to be very careful because this is obviously... Uh, IG is still playing very seriously, but they're not a very serious team composition right now. And if LGD lose this game, yeah, that's going to mean the psychological things, yeah. damage that this does going into a playoff match. You've got a top card, that you've got a jungle Evelyn. Game one goes horribly wrong for your team. I like you how you don't mention the bard. You get com oh, tempered fate to come through just to make sure Kid is going to be locked in position for a while. That is not a good idea, as Godby's now just able to destroy him. Kitties is uh Kid had some very choice words for his supporter. Save, he's gonna be the beneficiary. Yep, Save gonna be able to take that one down. Finds himself uncomfortably in the, in the cataclysm as PWL looking to try and close the distance here. Akon coming in here as well. Oh my goodness, the cosmic! Oh yes! Yeah. Save manages to pick up the kill and Gobby now in a whole lot of trouble! Turns it around! Save the god! Manages to pick up a double out of nowhere. Magical journey from Kitties taken by Akon here at the same time. Cosmically bound over that wall there as well as the Gromp now helping Kitties out. Does pick up a Chime there at the same time, but now Evelyn coming through. There's the Requiem there at the same time. Imp taking a lot of damage from that one as Imp jumps over the wall there. Tries to turn it around now he as they kick out. Oh, oh, oh. He lives. The boy lives. No. Oh, no, he doesn't. He decides to walk back around again, and there's the Rocket Jump over the wall. Wants to take the... Take the magical journey, Imp. <laughs> God, I was there for a reason. Of course, hasn't had enough practice here, being on the team with PYL, who's played it twice, Imp. You've got no excuse. T teleport coming through now from the time. Imp's been caught out. Yep, Kid actually is going to find him here as well. Dodges out of the way of every skill shot. But it doesn't matter when you've got 300 health, and he's going to fall down here as well. He needs something here from Bard. Oh, he, he's just trying to stay... Oh, no, it's not going to do it. Agony's Embrace was, of course, already used. Tempered Fate from Kitty's trying to lock down his Evelyn for a few extra seconds. Map. Magical Journey going to be taken here from Kitty's. Will he have the Cosmic Binding? It's not going to be quite there in time. His save comes around over the wall here as well. Does land a Sigil at least. So oh, that's going to get no. something. Oh, my goodness. Save going to get hooked on his way back in. Oh. That was dangerous game. Doing a whole lot of work there for save. Godby almost manages to get He's the bleed. Award. Kitty's coming down, but into his own demises. There's the hook on the kid over the wall. Beautiful stuff. Imp coming through here at the same time. Just gets blown around. Because Godby is going to fall down to that Requiem from Zatai. And would probably fall off a little bit as the game goes on, but might be able to pick on Kitty's, who's got a pretty squishy build. Tangling up with PYL. Oh, Magical Journey going to be taken here by Kitties. Wants to be out. Oh, dear. There's a horse that's going to meet him in the explosive shot. Going to lock that one down. The flash from Imp does manage to at least snag Kid with that red buff, but the Wall of Pain going to slow down the LGD approach. But Save going to pick up TBQ on the backside. The rocket grab onto Kid there as well as POL finds himself in amongst four members. Three members, I guess, theoretically, as Imp is going to rocket jump his way back over this wall after dealing with Zatai. There's the culling as well as he locks down the kill, but... Godby is going to be Getting there to the destroy reset. it. Oh, Kakao gets exploded a little bit, but not going to be able to do too much. And that's going to be an even trade in the end. Tested Bard just yet on that front. Okay, not going to be doing too much. As there's the Ghost Play Pop. Tempted Fake going to save the Bard's life. This is the Shadow Assault going to try and get Godby out of here. But of course, very, very mobile. Oh, save still. Oh my goodness, Hex Drinker saves his life. As you can see, oh, oh, Cosmic Binding there, Kitties locks down the kill in the end. Iceborne Gauntlet Trinity Force, an interesting one, but PYL going to be forced to flash. 
away from Kid, who also just flashes after him and gets the kill. Couple that with the fact that there is a 6-1-3 Hecarim. I think that's the really champion that we need to be taking a bit more of a look at because if anyone missed the MO of being able to have a little bit of fun on the Summoner's Rift today, it probably was Acorn in the top lane. It's very difficult for him to tank that one up. Imp now going to take over here as Acorn going to come to try and secure this They've one. They've picked but it out. They know what's going on. Imp's low. Everyone's low. Just ultimate to tie. You've got everyone. Yeah, the Wall of Pain. He is going to use the Rec Room there as well, but the Baron is going to fall down. TBQ takes so much damage as Kid trying to deal with Godby now as well. He does have the heal available. He is going to fall down. And the Q, oh, oh my goodness, that tempered me. fate, so close. The range of that ability is dumb. And Very close to sick bard mechanics, of course, not quite able to lock that one down. Oh, but giving it to him. Oh, oh Zatai, now going to get focused down here by Imp and Acorn, and that looked very unfair, as these Baron up minions not even going to be able to be taken. It's pretty confusing. Not too much of a thing, though, as Rake comes through from Godvi. Does now have an extra Brutalizer going towards that Black oh, Cleaver oh. and, oh, traps him in there. Oh, my goodness. That was silly. Zatai now might find himself caught out. Four members now on top of him. Does pop the Zonya's Hourglass. We'll see what the rest of the team can make their way around. Actually flashes in on top here as Tempered Fate going to stop the turret from doing anything. Kitties, that was not the move that you wanted as the chain. Not going to quite land here as well. The double kill to come down, though, from Kick Zatai. Out. And Kid makes his way back into it. Imp now in a bit of trouble, but turns it around onto Kid as Akon burning down, but not quick enough as the double kill comes through from Imp. Does have to watch out about that turret damage, but that is going to be the ace locked in here for LGD, despite the fact that there are a lot of very low health bars. Yes, certainly some low health bars, but what a team fight coming through in the end. Acorn on Hecker improving way too much for the jungle Eve. Oh. oh dear, save might be in trouble. Shadow Assault not going to quite find him here as Godvi now going to have to fight against Kakao. Save coming back around, not going to land the chain here, but consistent damage are plenty for Kakao, and he manages to secure that one. Kitties takes a magical journey around here as well. Cosmic Binding, he's trying to look for it. Beautiful work, save going to lock down the Blitzcrank. Blitz not quite having the best game here as he's 1 8 and 12. Yeah, that's true. Frozen Heart. No, Frozen Mallet, sorry. The save is going to find PYL and he's just going to get eliminated. This time, get that triple double locked down here as TBQ. Kakao's found him. Kitty's bounding in towards him here as well as Akon. Teleport coming in. Coming through to the backside. Zatai wants to get in amongst it as Godby pops that ghost blade, trying to look for something as the Skittles are coming down. Wall of Pain doing some work. Oh, dodges the chain with a beautiful cutthroat as now Akon. Finds himself just able to do whatever the heck he wants as Zatai goes golden for multiple reasons as Magical Journey gonna yeah, secure Kitty's fate. He is actually gonna survive this one as Kakao. Agony's embrace in there as well. The culling coming through. Akon not gonna take any damage from that as Kakao needs to be careful here. There's the piercing light and Kitty's locks down that kill. Akon now Takes finally damage. might die. Is he going Kakao, to? Kakao, go get him. Oh, doesn't have... The Wolves there to secure some health back, but there's the devastating charge and he's going to be safe. Wants to try and turn this one around as Akon might be able to come back into this one. PYL may have sacrificed himself though, that could be a problem. Regrets Doesn't find the choice. ultimate. Yeah, that was a oh, death. Look oh, look at the shield coming through. Yeah, he's got a man immune. <laughs> this is PYL doing some work, but wow, that crit was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Assault is available as TBQ just really wants to kill this one, but save may have found him yet again. Distorts right in there. There's the chain that's going to land. Cataclysm as well does a lot of damage, but the final chain oh, going to lock was, it in there. That was a health front. Kitties, just save, oh, save. Oh, cute. And save is going to be able to take down that Scuttlebug. Teleport top lane. Ah, oh, the wall of pain. Oh, Skittles now as well doing next to nothing. Is Godby going to come through? Kids here though. Godby takes a lot of damage. In fact, there's... Hextring is saving his life there as well as Akon. He's going to go legendary 12, 2 and 5. Godby is going to fall down. Oh my goodness, kid. Eradicates him in the end. Decides to copy Imp's build here as well, which is very cute. All time and they've... Pretty much twins. Oh, like ships in the night. Kakao and PW are going to pass one another, but in the end, Kakao decides that he can possibly take this fight here against the support player, as he has been the entire game. Oh, oh Righteous Glory going to lock it down, and Kitties, my goodness. PW, you can see him there on the ma on, on the little screen, just wondering, how does he make this bard do so much damage? <laughs> Distance now, I don't know how they're 10 kills in the lead, but oh my goodness. TBQ just gets comboed to death from save. Manages to set up that gank brush nicely. Ah, got you guys. Don't even worry. That's one of my favorite items too. That item's brilliant. Yeah, double tenacity though is an interesting choice.
That is odd. He might sell his items, though. His kid's just going to get destroyed here by him. Through 4,000 health. His save actually looking to get in on this one. Godby comes through. Magical Journey's available for someone as Requiem comes down there looking for PYL. Destroys him as the Death Cap is sitting there as well as Cosmic Binding. Not going to find anyone, but Kakao looking angry here. Tempered to come through as Godby does get locked down from that one. There's the Zonya's Hourglass as well. Godby looking to try and find something here as the rate comes down, but him is going to pick up Kakao on the backside. Answer by saves pick up of the mid laner there. Onslaught of Shadows and save going to get... Yeah, that's a lot of damage to come through from that devastating charge. Magical Journey! But is going to secure the binding very quickly. Save looking to try and get in here, but of course they have no vision. Kitties gets a ward in, but a little bit too late Did as Imp secures it. Fate. What a crazy maneuver is the Magical Journey going to come through. Say Zatai, sorry, going to find TBQ here as the culling comes through. Magical Journey going to be taken by Akon to get him a free ride into the back line. Shadows into the back, and there's the Tempered Fate. Going to lock down these members of save. He's going to destroy Imp here as well. LGD just getting eradicated. That is a five for nothing for IG. At the end of this game, IG with the clean ace off the back of a very good Bard ultimate. That was a wonderful Tempered Fate, but the magical journey psyching Acorn out. He went to the back line and got destroyed and then had to ult to try and save himself onto his Tempered Fated members. My goodness, it was beautiful to see. And IG, they're gonna lock down the 2-0 after this very interesting second match for our final day of the LPL. Yeah, it certainly was a cracker, Atlas. We saw 86 kills in 40 minutes. And who would be the MVP of that game? That would be Save there in the mid lane. 16, 6, and 12.